will be rowing across the Pacific Ocean this summer from California to Hawaii for about three months, 2,400 miles alone. Why I'm doing it, I think that's probably the hardest question to answer really. And there's lots of things that I could say. My goal is to do the challenge. Along the way, it would be nice to get some, a record. Um, I could become the, the fastest woman to do this route solo. That would be nice. And also the youngest possibly. This was something that I wanted to do for about eight years, but I was quiet about it. I didn't tell anyone because I was worried about what they'd think. Once you've told people that you're planning to do it, people start offering help and, and it's easier for you to, to not worry about whether you're going to fail or not, because I think that's the biggest worry, is failure. If it's something that you've decided to do, you're going to be able to do it. Physically, you'll find, you'll find a way of, of making your body doing it. It's more about the mind. Um, so although I'm doing lots of physical training, actually training my mind is more important because you can make your body do things if you keep, if your mind says that you can. But I'm quite scared of um, sort of dark nights, dark storm nights, and not, not being able to see the waves coming towards the boat until they hit the boat. So that first storm, I, I think it will be scary. Um, I think sharks as well scare me. Getting to trust the boat still takes a while. The way that I'm going to entertain myself out there, um, partly I just need to get used to, to having less entertainment, less things going on all the time in my mind. And partly I'll have music and audiobooks as well. But I also have a lot of practical things to do and to think about and I'll be keeping an eye out for the wildlife and for the weather that's changing and thinking about what difference that's going to make to my course. I'll be quite busy. I've got a satellite phone which is my main uh, way of communicating with, with everybody else. So I'll be, I'm able to make voice calls on that and to uh, write emails and blogs. I actually also have a tracking beacon on the boat which means that they can look on my website and see where I am in the ocean. There's a little map and there's a little dot on there with a line where I've been. So, be, so all the time people know where I am and they can follow the adventure as it happens. 2,400 miles, 2,400 women. I would like to see every single mile of this road dedicated to an inspirational woman. On my website you can go on and choose with the mile that you want. Write the name of the person that you want to dedicate the mile to, an inspirational woman, and then their name will be written on the boat and on the website. If people are inspired by what I'm doing, I think that's really brilliant. If I can help inspire people to do to do things that they want to do. I think that's really good.